Hello, this is Bern, and if you're a single woman who's been telling herself that devotional, passionate, fulfilling, head over heels love is just not possible this day and age, I'm about to share with you on today's episode four radical reasons why this kind of love is not just possible, but it's within your grasp if you step in it with your heart and with the right strategy. Stay with me. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life TV.com. Today's another edition of Get the Love You Crave. And on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you why devotional, passionate, fulfilling, effervescent love is absolutely possible this day and age. I hear from so many women who have been heartbroken, who've experienced heartache, who've experienced sometimes even abuse, and they've determined as a survival mechanism that love is not just it's not possible. The kind of love that you want, the kind of love you saw in movies, that it's just not in the cards for them, or it's just some something foreign to their life. So here are four reasons why devotional love is not just possible, but it's a complete reality if you step in it the right way. The first reason is because love is not just a feeling. So here's the thing. I get it if you start, if you've succumbed to the theory that love is just this feeling that you either feel or don't feel, how you can feel it's completely out of your hands and may or may not be showing up in your life. But if you understand that love is both a feeling and a skill, well, all of a sudden, if it's a skill, you can learn it. If it's a skill, you can master it. If it's a skill, you have the power in your hands to learn how to communicate in love, how to create more attraction, how to open your heart more, how to close when you need to close. Love can be a skill, but for most people, it's just a feeling. So if you understand the difference, and if you're willing to do the right steps, take the right steps to learn better ways to communicate, better ways to create attraction, better ways to date, better ways to enter a relationship, when to leave a relationship, those skills can be a life changer for you. If you don't just say, well, I just didn't get the feeling, therefore I'm not getting love. You didn't get the feeling, step into the learning experience of how to create it in your life. And that's why I've created hundreds of free videos here that can show you some version of that. Number two is because you can focus on higher quality problems day and age. Here's the reality. If you're watching my videos right now, more likely than not, you're watching this from a mobile device or you're watching this from a computer, you have internet access. So this means that you're in the high percentage of the population in the world. And not only that, but today there's more possibilities than there were a few years ago. Against what many people think, there are more options today than there were a few years ago. Why? Because the world is your oyster. You have ability to connect right now with the palm of your hand, with men in any country in the world and make it happen. And I've had clients to connect with people in other parts of the world and then make it happen. I've had clients who connect with people in their city in ways that they would have never connected a few years ago, all because of the magic of the internet. So I get how it can be a hindrance and I get how some people can abuse it. But by, by and large, the internet has made the possibility of connecting with human beings a much more present reality. And I feel that every single day in my life, I see it in my client's life, so I know it's possible. Now, you have the ability right now, instead of waking up and saying, well, where will I get my water from? And will somebody come and kill me? Or do I have to go hunt for, for food? Which is what our answer stores regrettably have to focus on. Those were their problems. Our problems are, uh, how can I get a better phone? And how can I get a better career? And how can I get a better form of love? So because you live in a day and age where you have more possibilities than in any point in human fucking history, you have the ability in your hands right now to connect with more people. You have the ability to focus on this fundamental expression of self, which is your sole expression of how to find the right love. You're not in a situation where your parents force you most likely to marry someone out of convenience because they will give you 20 goats and the 20 goats will sustain your family, your parents' family's fortune. But you have the ability to choose. You have the ability to say no. You have the ability to marry for the first time in human history over the last last maybe 100 years for love versus convenience. So don't take this for granted. Understand that as much as you feel there's challenges going on right now, there are more opportunities than ever to get this if you have the right mindset, if you have the right strategy. Number three, because love is an expression of who you are. Finding deep, rich, 
highest vibration, conscious love, it's an expression of who you are as a woman. What I mean by that is if you, st if you focus on not the guy out there and how to catch him, but how to first and foremost connect to the grandiosity of your spirit, to the inner force of your magic, of your feminine energy, of your radiance, of your passion, of your service, of what you came here to do. And from that place, you put yourself out there, you create significantly more options because the light that emanates from your heart is the force that every single guy on the planet was it's like wants to get into his life. So if you focus right now, if, because love is an expression of who you are, if you focus on yourself, and if from that self you go out to connect with men, you have more options, you can be more selective, and you have stronger, a stronger attraction magnet that makes this significantly easier, even though it's not easy, it's significantly easier, and gives you far more options, and allows you to step into a true sense of abundance. One of the biggest benefits I see when I connect with my clients, who I've been helping to find the law of the way they want to, is when they start feeling, I have two amazing men who are showing up in my life, and my problem now is who do I choose versus no one loves me, and how can I connect to a quality man? You go into higher quality problems when you focus on the expression of yourself, on the self-expansion of your soul versus just how to catch a guy. Fourth, and very, very important, if you hear nothing else I say today, please open your heart and your soul and listen to this. Because hurt and pain can be catalysts for more. So while I would never wish pain and suffering for anyone on this planet, I've lived long enough to understand that from pain and suffering, the biggest and most passionate expressions of human contribution and human transformation often do take place. Here's my truth. I would have loved to never feel desperate and depressed as I was when I was 19 years of age, thinking that if the world ended and if I died that things would be okay. That's how I felt when I was 19. Had I not experienced that pain, I wouldn't have grown in my level of hunger to end my pain, and after ending my pain, end the suffering for millions of women around the world. I experienced the deep pain that kicked me in the guts, kicked me in the balls, basically, and said, you have to do more. Now that you've actually allowed yourself to not experience that level of pain, your duty is to go out and spread that message. And that's what I've been doing in one form or another since I'm 90 years of age, I'm 42 right now. So that's what the pain as a catalyst for more can bring. I wish that my father hadn't died in my arms. Part of me says, I wish this never had happened. I wish I didn't see him suffer through cancer for four years. I, didn't, I wish he would still be here to, meet my, to be with my children, to be with me, to give me advice, to, to be a source and a friend as he always was. I wish that was the case. And him dying in my arms, again, was the biggest wake-up call for me to step into more of what I needed to do at that time in my life. The YouTube channel you're watching right now came as a direct result of him dying. It was a month before he died when I said, I need to do something with my life. I need to honor my father. I need to just do something that I'm really passionate about. So the suffering, the deep pain that came from that was a catalyst for me to share even more of my message. So here's my gift to you right now in this last step. You've gone through suffering, my dear. I understand because I hear your story and I hear the story of your sisters every single day of my life. There's not a day of my life where I don't receive a message or an email or have several conversations with women who have experienced extreme pain, sometimes suffering, sometimes spiritual pain, sometimes abuse, sometimes emotional, sometimes physical, sometimes sexual. So I understand where you may be coming from. I can also tell you that the transcendence of that pain, that the alchemy of that pain into something more can be the biggest source of joy for you and other human beings if you choose to view it that way. You wouldn't go back and necessarily live that, but since you already experienced it, you might as well do the best you can with it. The story of the girl that was born on a castle and got a pony as a first year birthday present and then uh, got a five cars for his for 15th year birthday uh, present and then married a prince. Nobody wants to watch that fucking movie. Why? Because it's not really what gets us, but the movie of the underdog, the movie of the woman or the guy who was born in mystery and changed it and transcended every single obstacle and made something amazing of his or her life, 
That's the movie I want to watch. That's the movie you probably want to watch. And that's the movie of your life that you can step into should you choose to turn hurt into a catalyst for more. That's my invitation for you right now. If you find this as helpful, useful, insightful, I'm going to ask you, my dear, sweet, beautiful woman, to do three things. Number one, click like on this video or thumbs up. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video, the first line of the description of this video, you'll see a link that allows you to sign up to a free training that I've created for you that allows you to learn the steps the essence of what you need to create the kind of relationship that I'm speaking about right now. It's absolutely free. All you do is click on the first link and you'll see a, a website that has a yellow bar. Hit the yellow bar, enter your name and email, and you'll start watching right away. Thank you for allowing me in your hearts. Thank you for listening to this. Listen to this again if you need to make some notes. And as always, I challenge you, live a full and a conscious life.